All right, 37 dryer midget. The owner's going to talk about it for a few. Okay, we're looking at a 37 pop dryer midget <clears throat> that was found in a drought in a pond outside of Indianapolis about 10 years ago. Totally rebuilt, has a V860 with a Narden flat crank, pair of 81 Stromberg carburetors, and virtually everything on this little beauty is brand new. We've totally restored it. Uh, it hasn't run since the motor was was restored. Um, it has a Harman Collins mag. Uh, the firing order is correct for the 180 degree crank. And um, I think this deserves a great home. All right, we're going to take a little walk around. Appreciate Bob telling you about it. He has obviously restored everything about this. It's quite the showpiece. Yeah, exactly. It's so like he said, it needs to be in somebody's living room or the ultimate man cave. We will have video of the hood off here shortly. We'll just do a good little walk around here. Come up with some pretty unique stuff here at Spud's Garage. Some great clients. Some great rides, some great toys. <laughs> Was it driven by Potsy Gocher? Yep. Okay. Bob doesn't do anything halfway, I can tell you that. The seat trim will uh he didn't he didn't want to attach it to the body. We'll let the next guy do that. Step back, let you take a look at it. Pardon my lens cap on the ground, got to have it. Attach to the camera or I'll lose it. Paint on this is just unbelievable and obviously it is fresh. The only reason he's selling it is he just moved from San Inez to uh, New River, Arizona. That's where the car's at. Santa Inez is Solvang, California area. We'll have a lot of vintage signs and several other hot rods at spudsgarage.com. You're currently on Spuds Garage YouTube. And of course, you'll probably see this baby on Spuds Garage eBay. Took a lot to gather all the parts you needed to bring this baby back, I'm sure. We're thinking you get it by now, but it, hang on, just after this we'll pop the hood off and let you see uh, under the hood of it. Alright, as Hang promised, on. I'll give you a look here at the V860. There are a lot 
lot of very rare and unique parts in this. Stromberg 81s. Armand Collins Magneto. Nice touch there on the firing order tag. Again, it has not been run since it was built. What a work of art. Labor love right here, Bob. Patsy Gocher would be proud. Throw in a little bonus clip here. I'm going to get up underneath here. Don't know if I did that in the other video, so just covering my tail. Everything's been plated or polished. Definitely didn't look this way when Potsy drove it. I'm going to show a piece. Low pressure, fuel pressure, and temp.